What is up creators, this is Tom, welcome back to another video. So I think on the channel, we don't do enough tutorials. I actually wanna make an active change for the rest of 2021. I'm going to try and release at least one tutorial per week. We will definitely see how we get on with this when we all know how Budget Wednesday goes. It's not exactly a super regular series, but I'm keen, I'm excited, I think we can do it. Let me know what you guys think, if you're actually interested in tutorials. Maybe you actually want me to do any tutorials. Uh, definitely drop them in the comment section down below. But today what I want to talk about is color correction and I'm going to be color correcting in Final Cut Pro X but the principles that I'm using, I'm not using any dedicated plugins or uh, sort of techniques that are respective just to Final Cut Pro X. So this was definitely a tutorial that is very transferable. What I want to talk specifically about is color grading log footage, so color grading flat footage and making it as beautiful as possible without any uh, LUTs or lookup tables. Like I said, I I tend not to actually work with LUTs all that much unless I'm giving stuff a final grade and a final feel. We had footage here from three different cameras. I've got footage from my Canon C200 in 8-bit. I've got 10-bit footage from my old Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. And then I've got some GH5 footage here as well. So we're going to uh, give all of these a grade and use the same types of principles in uh, the three clips. So we should get a nice feel for how to grade this footage. All right, so let's start off with the uh, C200. This is some footage that I shot um, a couple of weeks ago um, and I'm going to slow this right down. So we're going to slow this to 50% to give this uh, because it's a uh, 50 frames a second shot. So let's just sort of take this uh, the, like the best selection out of this uh, footage here. Let's maybe go from here to to here. So we've got sort of you know, two seconds of uh, footage. It's not super long, but we don't need it to be that long. So what I'm going to do here now is go into my view section up here, and then I'm going to select video scopes. Now this is absolutely essential for color correcting, especially when you're working with log footage. Now in the Luma section, you want to make to this little button up here, you want to make sure that you are, um, uh, your waveform is selected, it's not on histogram or vector scope, and then we want to work with the Luma panel here. And you'll see that this particular shot means all of the data is quite compressed right now in this section here. That's because uh, it's just not like there's not a lot of colors going on in this shot. You've got, you know, uh, the, the birds and then you've got the, the sky in the background. But we will be able to correct this and make sure it is looking nice and beautiful. So let's go up to the color correction panel up here and we're going to add a color wheel. Now what I'm going to do is, oh, we make sure my angles, uh, my uh, my scopes are back on. And then we're going to bring this right down. And what I want is I want my shadows, so that is the, in this shot, the birds, to be around about that uh, zero mark. This particular shot, the sun had already set, so there wasn't a ton of available light in the scene, uh, which means that I'm not going to want to pull it right back to uh, zero because I think that's a bit overly dramatic. So we're just going to bring that up a little bit. And you can immediately see that that's like given the shot way more contrast and uh, that's closer to what it would have looked like out of, uh, out of you know, if you were looking at it um, in person. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the highlights but in the opposite direction. So I'm actually going to increase these highlights and we can also give the mid-tones a little bit of a boost and then make sure we're retaining that uh, data down here near the shadows. With a different shot, and you will see this in some of the other comparisons, the other shot examples. Like I said, because the sun was setting here, there wasn't a ton of available light, so uh, you know we wouldn't want to increase this right up to here because that's just not a particularly natural looking uh, scenario. But you can see there, just immediately from that shot, you can see the difference in terms of uh, the shot. What I'm also gonna do here is just add a whole lot of saturation to the image. And you can see that this is, you know, log formats generally shot super flat, hardly saturated at all. So you need to add some contrast and add some saturation. Like this is a super quick way to grade log footage. And you can just see the enormous difference that just playing around with these settings actually does. Like that is the before and after grade of that shot. It is absolutely significant. Uh, that is no LUT color correction. Super, super quick way to grade log footage. All right, so let's try uh, with this next clip here. Same thing, I'm gonna reduce this by 50% speed because because it was shot at uh, a high frame rate. You can see we've actually got some sun flaring in this shot here. 
uh, and that's going to make for some quite interesting grades. You can see that the curve here is quite dramatically different to it was uh, on this previous shot. You can see here. All that is is just a visual representation of uh, the, the colors and the data in the shot. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go into the color corrections and add a color wheel correction. And then you can see that the deepest part of the image down here, this is where the darks are in that scene. So we're going to pull this right down and that should give us a base level of correction. I'm actually going to pull this even a little bit further down just to give this a nice little moody uh, tone here. And then in terms of the highlights, this is already pretty bright, pretty hot, um, meaning that there's a lot of highlights in this shot because of the sun flares here. And uh, we are gonna lose some of that data. And you can see that by the clipping up here, this white line means that we are losing some of that data, but that's sort of what we want for a shot like this. And then the most important thing is that all of the important data in this shot, i.e. the um, you know the restaurant here, that is all nice and uh, in, in detail and in you're not losing any of that crucial detail. So now that we've added some contrast to this scene, not a dramatic amount because the shot isn't as flat, for instance, as that Canon log format. Uh, this was shot in, uh, I think, the film standard on Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. Uh, but now we want to add some saturation and we're going to do that just up here in the same uh, shot. And you can see that that is a beautiful looking shot now. So let's go from here over here and if we were to stabilize this as well uh, just a very very quick stabilization on there that's now a pretty l beautiful looking shot with those sun flares in there and uh, what i'm actually going to do is i think the balance and the the white but like the black magic pocket cinema camera did definitely hue towards the greens so i'm actually going to balance this out slightly and I'm actually going to cool this down, but add a little bit of reds into the mid-tones. And you can see, that's, there, there we go, that is the difference between that shot. And that's looking absolutely beautiful, in my opinion. And that is a big difference there. And the last shot we're going to edit here was shot on the GH5, uh, Panasonic GH5, a beautiful camera. Uh, let's just trim this one down again. Okay, so we have our shot here. You can see that again, this is in a nice flat log profile. So we're gonna go up to the color wheels and you can see that this is just a process that we can repeat time and time again uh, for each different shot. And this isn't particularly, like we're not getting a super creative grade here in terms of like a look, but what you are doing is creating a beautiful looking image from your log footage. So we'll decrease the shadows again and bring this curve deep uh, into the zeros. Uh, do we want to completely clutch this? Probably yes, because we want the camera to be deep black. So let's go a little bit further than the zero mark here. And then you can see that we're going to lose this image up here in the sun. And you need to basically decide whether that's okay or not. I'm actually, I actually am gonna push that because I want the contrast in the image here. And that's kind of fine. We're happy doing that, or I'm happy doing that because the most important detail here is, is me in the foreground here. So then we're gonna add some saturation and you can see that that is uh, starting to pop a bit here. And we're gonna mess it briefly around with the uh, with the tint as well. I'm going to bring a little bit of green into the image away from the purples. And you can see that again, that is just a big, big difference. There's a lot of detail here in the shots and we could definitely get a bit more creative with it. Uh, but that is, you know, just a very quick way to correct log footage and basically get your footage from uh, horrible and flat and giving it a really nice base color correction. And you can see the difference that we've made on all of the three shots there in literally the space of probably two minutes per shot. There we go, guys. That's it. A super, super quick look at some color grading inside Final Cut Pro 10. Hopefully, if you edit in other softwares, these techniques are definitely transferable. So uh, hopefully you've learned something either way. Again, let me know what you think about me doing these tutorials a bit more regularly down below in the comment section. I'll catch you guys next time.